Hey guys! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So, it's your girl Jungle Naps here, and I know I've kind of been teasing you guys a little bit on my Snapchat, dropping little hints and stuff about my faux locks, but I'm finally ready to talk about them. My experience, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly. So, you know, before we jump into it, I have two questions for you. First, are you subscribed? Because if you are, hell yes. And if you aren't, Girl, what you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that button. Shoot, you're missing out on all the awesome new content that I have for you. And my second question for you is, have you hit the like button yet? Because you should. You know, I put a lot of time and effort because I wanted to step out of my comfort zone for you guys and try a protective style that I was a little bit nervous to actually do myself. So if you find this useful and you like this type of content, please give this a thumbs up. That way it helps me know what you guys like. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first off, I use about six packs of the Bomba Dreadlock hair in the faux lock hairstyle. So what I did was I did the crochet method. I braided my hair into a specific uh, beauty pattern and I'll uh, let you guys know how I discover that beauty pattern later on. But basically, um, I bought this pack of hair at a beauty supply store down in LA where my family lives. And uh, at the beauty supply store, it was about $7.99 per pack of hair. I got six packs, so with tax, it was almost $50. So that's a lot of money to spend on hair, so you know, you wanna make sure that you're committed to this hairstyle for a while. So the hair quality is actually really good. It's very soft light dreadlocks um, and it just looks it's like has a good amount of sheen to it but not so much sheen where you're just like okay that's like fake hair you know what I mean um, it just looks like like healthy dreadlocks <laughs> if I could put this well like healthy and moisturized um, so you are paying about eight dollars per pack but it is good quality hair so that's always good to know Okay, so the braiding pattern that I found, um, I was actually checking out a fellow Haitian YouTuber, and her username is Beauty Can Braid. And you guys should definitely check her channel out. She is so talented. She just does so many different kinds of protective hairstyles. She's always switching it up, especially crocheting. Um, I feel like she is very detailed with her braiding patterns and she just shows you how to do it. So for me, the hardest part of this was actually braiding my hair into cornrows because I don't ever do that and I actually don't think I've ever done my full head of hair by myself without somebody helping me so you know it was just I just have a lot of hair especially in the back in the crown area it's very very dense there and um, the braiding pattern I feel like if you're good at cornering your own hair the braiding pattern actually wasn't that hard for me being a first timer I did have to watch that tutorial like over and over and over again for maybe like 20 different times to make sure that I got it right, you know? <laughs> Every time I got to a different part of the hair, I'd be like, oh, shoot, like, was that right? Did I get that right? Uh, so I feel like if you're like a master braider cornrow, this is gonna be like a piece of cake for you. If you're a newbie, you know, you wanna pick a weekend or something when you've got some time to sit down and make sure that you like really get this. And if all else fails, just pay somebody to cornrow your hair in the specific braiding pattern. So I'll put the link for Beauty Can Braids tutorial down below uh, in the description bar. Make sure you check out her tutorial. I mean, she just blew the faux locks thing out of the water. Like, she's amazing. So let's get into the pros of having faux locks. So first of all, it's like the best, best, best protective hairstyle. You corner your hair, it is literally away from the exposed elements and it looks really beautiful and just exotic and unique and I feel like I, at least I'm not in the area where a lot of people wear faux locks all the time. So I feel like it's really noticeable and people, you know, compliment me and just are like, wow, like, you know, like, that just looks so beautiful. So that's, it's really nice, especially when you do it yourself to have people compliment you and stuff like that. 
Next up, I love that, you know, once you have the cornrows out of the way, the actual installation of the process is really easy. I mean, it just, it took me under two hours to do the whole six packs on my hair. As long as you have some mirrors, you know, like you're all good. You just make sure that you space them out accordingly so that the cornrow isn't visible, you know, uh, with or through the hair, and then you're fine. Okay, so let's get into the cons of having full locks. The biggest, biggest, biggest con I will tell you guys like straight off the bat is the sheer weight of the locks. And I didn't expect this because when I bought the hair and even when you just pick up one single full lock strand, it's so light. So you don't really expect, you know, as you're putting it on for it to literally be like weighing your head down. And I felt like the first two days, you know, like it really, it kind of like gave me a headache. My actual cornrows weren't that tight, but the weight of everything on it just gave me a headache. And I was starting to get some shoulder and neck pain. So if you're really prone to that, this is not gonna be the hairstyle for you at all. And next is that I feel like being somebody who works out a lot, you know, I wanna make sure my scalp is really clean. And you can't actually, you can, but it's really inconvenient to wash your hair with faux locks because the water that'll be soaked up by the hair will make your faux locks so heavy. And it just won't be very easy for the product to rinse out. So what I've seen, I haven't actually had my locks in long enough to do this, but I've seen that people actually take sea breeze or witch hazel and use that to cleanse their scalp with maybe like cotton swab or, you know, those, you know, anything really, anything that's not gonna leave behind residue. Next up, I also wanna say that due to the added weight, if you're somebody whose edges are very sensitive, the weight on this and how it actually pulls at your hair might not be the best for you. Um, I used to wear individual braids like on a consistent basis for like six years, so I know that my edges aren't particularly sensitive, but you know, if if you do have very sensitive hair, I would not recommend this hairstyle for you at all. So yeah, that's about it uh, for my whole experience. Um, oh, also I wanna let you guys know, as far as what I use to keep my edges in check, you know, while I have the style in, because I do have the front part of my hair exposed, I use uh, Hicks Edges, which has been pretty, you know, good for my hair. It doesn't leave like crazy build up. You know, I haven't noticed anything. So if you guys are looking for a good edge control, you should definitely check that one out. And that's it. Let me know if you guys like want some styling videos for my full locks while I have them in. Um, yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. And don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me some comments down below. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Till I get up, time is barely on our side.